New tonight, some families gathered in protest outside the Oak Creek Franklin School District office. They want their kids to be able to start, start the school year in person, not online. Katie Crowther has a closer look at the very personal plea from some of those parents. Starting the school year with entirely virtual learning is a new reality for many kids, but for some and their parents, it's not necessarily a feasible option. Nine-year-old Debbie Messick has autism and epilepsy. She needs the in-school therapies, and that's something that we can't provide at home. That's why Debbie's family joined this protest, fighting for in-person classroom learning. Open our schools! Initially, they were relieved when the Oak Creek Franklin School District gave families the option of letting their kids attend school in person or virtually. But just last week, the school board reversed course, ruling that all students will start with remote learning only because of the number of positive COVID-19 cases in the area. Debbie's dad says returning to special ed at Deerfield Elementary is best for his daughter after seeing what happened when school went entirely online last spring. It really took a toll on her. The little things that we're trying to improve with her, seem to be regressing. It is hard for us. Lee Schultz has noticed a similar regression with her son Xander, who also has autism and benefits from speech therapy and interaction at Oak Creek West Middle School. He's showing more aggression at home. They didn't give us much time to actually work on this to figure it out. These parents begging district leaders to hear them out. Try to make it work for the kids that need it, whatever that looks like, but don't just shut us out. The superintendent of the Oak Creek Franklin School District says they have been working unrelentingly in planning to provide necessary services, and they're actively working in coordination with the Special Education Parent Advisory Council to share information, answer questions, and break down barriers to access and communication. Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.